Welcome to Journal and Affiliates, where we talk about different ways of how to make money online. Today, in this video, I'm going to talk about CPA marketing. We've talked about affiliate marketing so many times, and I think we've got to change this, okay? I've talked about affiliate marketing on different platforms, how you can get started, set up your marketing campaigns, and find products and offers to promote for your affiliate marketing business. And today, I want to introduce something new that you might get interest in. And this is known as CPA marketing. Now, CPA marketing is almost the same as affiliate marketing. And there is almost no difference. And the promotions, all the steps for affiliate marketing are the same as those used in CPA marketing. So what does CPA marketing mean? CPA simply means cost per action. Now, there are so many websites or platforms that pay for every action that a customer takes on your affiliate or in your marketing link. If you have a product or an offer that you're promoting and somebody happens to click on your link, you can get paid. I don't know whether if you've ever known that you can get paid through X. There is an opportunity for you to earn money through CPA marketing. And so far, it's the easiest. I never told you this, but I gotta be open right now. It's the simplest, better than affiliate marketing because with affiliate marketing, you need to sell a product. Now, CPA marketing, you just need somebody to click on your link, somebody to sign up for an offer or somebody to download an app or a software and that's all you're gonna do in this marketing type of campaign now cpa marketing is pretty much simple and i'm going to explain to you right now so i'm going to show you exactly how to start cpa marketing we're going to talk about this and i'm going to explain what cpa marketing means which means cost per action and i'm going to show you step by step so in this first video we're going to look at the criteria i mean the main details about cpa marketing and we want to look at this cpa marketing as a whole and we break it through different types and how it is going to be uh, worked out there are so many terms that are used in CPA marketing you might not understand and we would just want to look at them before we get deeper into doing it when you look at digital marketing it is a wider topic which involves affiliate marketing influencer marketing um, CPA marketing and so many other types of marketing that you cannot mention right now but there are so many and CPA marketing is just one of them okay and once we are getting in here, we want to know what CPA marketing is. So CPA marketing is simply uh, just like affiliate marketing, promoting products or offers and get paid with commissions, right? So we all market products simply because we want to get commissions from them. Now with CPA marketing, there are different types of offers it's not like affiliate marketing where you promote an offer and the payment is just one type now cpa marketing involves so many different payment types or commission types now the first one uh, is uh, uh, this but before you look into this we want to look at um, what cpa is built up of now cpa marketing is all about getting into the marketing uh, platform and you get to have um, a product I mean a niche after selecting a niche you will need to get an offer and then of course find an, a platform that will help you do CPA marketing we call them CPA platforms now this first offer is known as cost per sale which is also known as as CPS. Most of them are abbreviated as CPS, as we see from here. So the CPS here represents cost 
per sale and we want to see how the cost per sale is going to work now cost per sale is simply that amount of commission that you'll get paid when you make a sale okay you make a sale so this is simply uh like affiliate marketing let me call it that way because affiliate marketing is all about making sales now with this one cost per sale you get paid for every sale that you make and there is a specific cost that you're supposed to get paid for each sale when you make a sale now the second one is cost per lead now cost per lead is all about generating leads okay now with cpa marketing you care about promoting the links and when people click on those links you get paid with commissions okay and as we go further i'll talk about the clicks and this is just cost per lead now leads are actually uh, actions that are taken by uh, customers or audiences once they click on your link they can end up signing up for a certain program or a certain email list and they submit their email and that is what they call a lead now with leads there are so many types of leads i can't mention them i've just talked about email submissions and there are so many of that kind if somebody signs up for a particular program that means it is a qualified lead and you get a commission for that it is called cpl so cpl simply means cost per lead and then the third one is called cost per installation this is cpi every installation that a customer or a, an audience completes okay like if someone comes to your link and follows that link goes to download the application or a software that is called a cost per installation and you get a specific amount of money paid to you for every installation that is done by the customer so this is a little bit different from affiliate marketing because affiliate marketing is all about making a sale which is the first one here cost per sale okay so but the gain the difference between this cost per sale and affiliate marketing is that this one is specific the payment is just specific but affiliate marketing varies depending on the type of product the price of the product just that that's what makes it different from affiliate marketing now cpa marketing is uh, something that is also wide and there are some terms that you may need to know in the marketing field as a cpa affiliate now we want to look at some of the terms here that are described in the cpa marketing platform now these are the traffic types before you go into cpa marketing you must get to understand some of the cpa marketing traffic types okay and one of them is incentive traffic now when you sign up for a cpa marketing campaign or when you sign up for a cpa marketplace you are required to admit to the terms and conditions and follow their guidelines some marketing platforms um, don't really get or welcome any form of traffic they want you to get a, a specific time of type of traffic for them for their product now incentive traffic is that kind of traffic that you just convince okay like you have to convince someone or provide them with an offer let them buy a certain book so that they can go to the link in order for them to get to the marketplace to the offer that you're actually promoting so incentive traffic is all about convincing the customer professionally with certain form of offer and then before they go to the right or the main offer this should be in mind so some networks go with incentive traffic and then non-incentive is just ordinary traffic you can use any form of traffic go to facebook uh, social media any social media platform youtube and get the traffic 
that doesn't matter. Certain marketing platforms don't really want non-incentive traffic. And some of them want incentive traffic. So before we sign up for an offer, you will be able to see or to select the type of traffic that platform or that uh, company wants. Now, mobile optimized. There is a type of traffic which is mobile optimized. And in the sign up process, you will be able to see that it is indicated somewhere that this uh, offer is mobile or optimized and therefore it means you're going to find it mobile traffic okay so you'll find it mobile traffic so that maybe the software is something that is that has got to deal with mobile phones and because of that you can't really go for another type of audience apart from mobile users you need to target the mobile phone users for this kind of traffic and then countries allowed some offers will not go to be promoted in other countries you must know that there are some marketing campaigns that you cannot really go for take to other countries and besides that there is there are some things you need to know there are some terms that you really need to know when you're going for this CPA marketing uh, uh, business. Now, like I told you, I'm going to create videos, a uh, series of videos explaining or showing you or guiding you on how to go about CPA marketing. Now, this must be in your mind if you're really looking to start CPA marketing. Must know these terms, really pretty simple. Palid, um, and then EPC, which means earnings per click sales and then rev share it means the percentage share for every product that you purchase i mean that you uh, for every offer that you're promoting and then am am simply means affiliate manager so every network is going to is going to provide you an affiliate manager who is going to take control of your account and everything that happens within your account including the transactions the commissions that you receive from the platform so CPA marketing is really a good idea I never told you about this and this is going to be hard cut me up in the next video and thank you for watching see you next time